Airtight Solutions are leaders in the dust and fume extraction industry within Australia and New Zealand. We've been in business for 20 years. We design, manufacture, we install and service dust extraction systems. That's our business. We've installed hundreds of systems in TAFEs, universities and schools throughout Australia and New Zealand. Today, we want to give you a brief overview of the kinds of things you need to consider when designing a dust extraction system within a school, especially in terms of woodworking and combustible dust. There are Australian standards in place and you need to follow them to make sure the staff and students are protected and you're protected against any kind of liability. We're here today to talk about combustible dust extraction or collection. Uh, if it's not done properly, there can be catastrophic events. In a classroom situation, a timber woodwork classroom, the collection of timber dust is classed as combustible dust. There's been an Australian standard since 2012 for the collection of this dust. And if it's not done properly, with either prevention in place to prevent an event, or protection in place to have protection against an event, uh, there will be, you know, it could be major consequences to it, it explosion. Okay. Explosions do happen, they have happened, and if we don't have these uh, protection and prevention in place, there's uh, going to be loss of property to personal injury, and these will come with hefty fines, even jail time. So you must adhere to these Australian standards. You may ask why a school or college woodworking room is a potential risk. Well, timber dust is, is classed as a combustible dust and when the powder is fine enough, it can cause an event or an explosion. You only need half a cup of this dust, oxygen and an ignition source and it forms a, cl a cloud in the dust collector and we have an explosion. So it does happen. It can be as simple in a classroom as a child sucking up a nail through the ducting and creating a spark, uh, to bad electrical wiring, static buildup within the duct and the flexible hose is not connected properly. So there's a lot of reasons that you'll have an ignition source that can cause an explosion. Referring to the Australian standards, they suggest you have to have prevention. So to prevent an event from happening in your dust collector, you're going to have to take away firstly the fine dust that causes the explosion and any ignition source, anything that could cause a spark through the dust collecting system. And I don't think that that's possible within a school. So prevention really isn't an option. So we have to look at protection. So the standard said you have to either have prevention or protection. So let's talk about protection. So protection, in case of an event, we're going to have the, the, the fail-proof safes on the collector with the explosion relief panelling designed specifically for that application to backflow dampers going into the classroom to stop anything going back into the classroom. The event may never happen, but you have to have protection in place because if it ever does happen, there's serious consequences you know, to property damage, even to loss of life, and no one wants that. So the cost of the protection up front outweighs the cost that it would cost you if this event did happen. If there is a fire and explosion in the dust collector caused by combustible dust, if you're not aware of the, the Australian standard of collecting combustible dust, it doesn't matter. You're all liable. You know, insurance companies may not pay. If there's property damage, it won't be covered. If there's injury or even loss of life, there's consequences from hefty fines to even jail term for everyone. So if you're a design consultant, a builder, a mechanical engineer, or even a school headmaster, 
and you're not familiar with the collection of combustible dust, contact Airtight straight away. We can help you all across Australia and New Zealand.